Scotland and I'm your host for this week's lesson on more life challenge. Today we're going to be looking at non-native invasive plants, learning about how to identify them, how to find them and where they might be lurking even in your own backyard. Non-native plants can seem just fine and in fact some stores still sell invasive plants like English ivy and Barberry. So if you're out plant shopping, do take care that you know what you're buying and what the implications might be. Non-native plants can really spread really quickly. They don't support wildlife that has evolved to depend on native plants. This is actually a non-native invasive honeysuckle species. It was imported from Asia. So you will see pollinators visiting these flowers of this non-native invasive plant but the flowers only last for a few days to a week or so and then there's nothing left for pollinators for the rest of the season if the landscape is filled with this plant. You'll also see there's, there's no damage to these leaves, there's no caterpillars eating this, which means that the birds around me are not finding food um, for their chicks. You may see cardinals and, and grey catbirds and birds, other birds nesting in shrubs like this, but research has found that often they, they don't actually survive. Um, predators find it very easy to scramble through these honeysuckles and so nests in non-native shrubs often don't do as well as in native plants. Now at the end of the season these invasive honeysuckles will produce berries and you will see birds eating them but scientists have found that the nutritional value of those berries is not as good as from native shrubs. So birds will eat these, but it might not actually give them the energy and other nutritional values that they need to complete their migration successfully. So the first step in understanding what invasives might be lurking in or around your garden is to take a good look and learn how to identify some. A great app that I enjoy using a lot is called iNaturalist. It's a really helpful tool in helping you identify plants and other animals, in fact. So even in a relatively small garden setting, non-native invasive plants, once you start learning them and start seeing them, it can feel pretty overwhelming. Try not to be overwhelmed. Just think about it as one plant at a time. If you want, you can take out one plant, replace it with a beautiful native plant. The, the best place to start is just understanding what's growing there. Learn a little bit about where they come from and what, they might, what wildlife they might support or not. Um, and think about that in the context of native plant gardening.